If you like to play Minecraft Pocket Edition, today I share with you a pack that you need to be using. This is called Bedrocktomize, and it is created by Nether Ninja. The best way for me to explain this is it's basically the mobile version of Optifine. Let me show you how easy it is to change your perspective using this pack. Tap on your options and settings. Right on the top left, you're gonna see three separate options. You've got eyes, which means you're in first person. You've got this one, which means you're in third person behind. And if we do it again, it means that we are in third person in front. Now, currently for the Bedrock version, it's not possible to have a button on screen that changes your perspective. Not yet. Hopefully in the future, that's going to be a thing. So this is the easiest solution you're going to have currently. So it's, it's how many buttons is this? It's one, two, and change, and back, and done. It's that easy. And that's one of my favorite things about this. But it gets so much better. Some players don't like to have coordinates on their screen. But some players still like to remember where the start is in their world. No problem. When we go into our menu, check this out. We have an always clock and always compass active. So if I turn slightly to the right, you'll notice here that the compass moves. And the compass is telling me if I go back this way, that's where my spawn location is. You cannot take these. It doesn't matter if you die. They will still always be there. It's so helpful. Because again, I think the clock and the compass are a great feature in Minecraft. But not everybody wants to be carrying them. Because they take up too much inventory space. So at the top, you've got camera perspective. The ability to enable or disable hide hood and hide hands. You have your player options. Which again, are massively reduced. There's too many things going on for the Minecraft Pocket Edition UI. This just makes things easier. You've got your FOV, view bobbing on or off, hide paper doll, in-game play names, and things like that. Then you've got your graphics options. For me, I can bump them up to 12 chunks or reduce them down to six chunks. You know what? We're gonna try this pack on 12 chunks. You've also got a bunch of other details there. Again, massively reduced on the things that you do and do not need. Same with the advanced settings, giving you the ability to change your FPS, like I can keep mine unlimited. Obviously there's other things in here like screen animation and again, the basic things that you need and the audio settings. Now if you scroll down a little bit, this will be disabled for you, which is see more. Now the see more option basically just lets you see your profile, creator subscriptions, global resources, and things like that. Although I do feel like the global resource pack should probably be up here, just to make things a little bit easier for people who do like to use packs. But again, it scales back the things that you don't necessarily need. If you like to explore in oceans, one of the other features available in this pack is a clear water function. As you guys can see, you can see the drown there, the drown there, we can see the squid. It's just gonna make your visibility so much better. Especially with Minecraft having caves and cliffs and the negative height now, sometimes scary things do lurk in the depths and you can see here how clear this is. It means that you can see over large distances, you'll be able to avoid things like that. That's a drown with a trident because we know how hard hitting those mobs can actually be. For me personally, one of the things I struggle with when it comes to Minecraft Pocket Edition is dropping one or two things for my friends. Now he's revamped not only the UI to give you an always clock and always compass, but there's two extra buttons here. And let me teach you about these. So this first arrow down, if you're holding an item and you tap it once, it is going to drop an item one at a time, incredibly easy for your friends. Your friend's like, hey, will you drop me four diamond blocks? They're like, yeah, no problem. Four diamond blocks, he can take them and then you can go and visit your, your next friend. Well, your next friend's like, hey, I need all of those gold blocks. You're like, no problem. We hit the plus, it's gonna drop all the items with the tap of one button. Now, this functionality also works for survival as well. It's not just a creative feature here. So if we're in survival, we wanna give my friend all the gold blocks, no problem. But I wanna give my other friend over here all of the uh, wood blocks, no problem. And then I wanna give my other friend just two of my Iron blocks, no problem, we can just drop off two there. It's that easy. 
You may have noticed that there's no tall grass in my world. That is because in this pack, it turns your tall grass into small grass. So it doesn't matter if it says tall grass, they are going to be small grass. Not only is it going to be small grass, but even things like your sunflowers have been converted to a small item as well. And that is the same for things like your rose bushes. So visibility is not going to be ruined. If we, you can, there's like a little bit of a hitbox above it slightly. You can see there um, and you can break them a little bit easier but still again in terms of visibility life's so much better if you like to chat to your friends in a minecraft world but you're on pocket edition typing it out sometimes can obviously take quite some time so one of the bonus features in this is if you've already typed something there's buttons here which you're able to retype again so i'd be like hey can you please bring me some food again and i'd be like you know what Come here quick, I found something cool, and then I can be like, hey there, because somebody else joined my world again. I don't have to type them in all the time. There's also a tab option for players as well. So these quick functions just means that you can keep going. Be like, oh quick, he joined the game. Hey there, bang, I can get back to fighting my skeletons. Like I mentioned, this pack is basically the bedrock version of Optifine, and you can really experience this when you're using something such as the spyglass. So when you enable the spyglass, it is going to get rid pretty much of the outline of this. So you'll be able to see your friends in the distance a lot easier, or if you're looking for a specific biome, I was looking for some bamboo. And as you can see, we found plenty of it here, but I'll be looking out to try and find myself a panda. But yeah, so the spyglass for this version is definitely going to be your best friend. And something else with the carved pumpkin as well is it gets rid of the blur pretty much. So if you're in the end or you're fighting Enderman, this is also going to be your best friend. And sometimes I get, I'm like, am I, am I actually wearing it? And then you can just go settings, change your perspective to the in front, bang. Yep, the pumpkin's still on my head. And then we can go back to first person and then we can, can continue our journey. And look at that. That's a perfect example. We managed to find ourselves a jungle temple. I found a cute baby ocelot. Haven't seen one of them for quite some time when I was on my journey. Now, something else to remember is if you're in survival as well, you'd be able to see at the bottom of your screen, you can see your armor and your hearts. And you still have the same functionality whether you're using the pocket UI or classic. Like, I can drop these to my friends. He's just died. He needs some spare armor. And again, if we look at the UI, the compass and the clock, it's always there. If you are using the classic UI and you go into the creative inventory, you can literally see all your items on the bottom of your screen. Not only the things in your hotbar, but you can also see your shield, your armor, and even your elytra. So you'd also be able to check this out in survival to see how low of durability you have left. But here's your true visibility of when you're in water. Again, it's like you have permanent night vision it's going to be really helpful for finding those goodies. The chest UI has also been revamped, which will show you your hearts and your armor and your hunger points as well. You can also see your character there, so you better tell what you're wearing or what you're not wearing, which I think is incredibly helpful. So for me, it's a 10 out of 10 pack. Last thing I want to show you is it's currently dark in my Minecraft world, and here is the true visibility of when you're quite far down in water. You can see this ocean monument from incredibly far. So if you're worried about getting attacked by guardians, you don't have to worry anymore. Look at that. You can see all its beauty from a distance. So I hope I have convinced you to give this pack a try. Like I said, overall, it just improves the quality of life in your Minecraft world. Whether you like to play survival or creative or even servers. This is just definitely going to help you. So, yep, with that being said, one more time, we're going to switch the perspective, and I will see you all in the next video.